Hi, you guys. So um, I've been listening to this song. It's one of my songs that I like. It's called it. It's going to be okay. It's by the piano guys. I thought I would just share it really, really personal. Um, Cause I think everybody, like I'm literally in bed. I have been choosing to be very mindful and purposeful with everything that's going on. Cause I feel like there is a lot, a lot of anxiety, panic. Um, Taylor, we are FaceTiming and, um, with each other because we we have chosen to quarantine completely which means i'm not seeing any of my kids my grandkids i'm home i've quarantined myself against my husband just kidding he's downstairs somewhere but like we are literally like 100 percent um and choosing um and i'll be honest like a couple of things were lined up for my company to like you know oh well we're doing this silhouette teresa collins bundle no we're not doing it like I'm like, if people want to go on my website, yeah, but you know what? I'm not pushing it. I'm not put, no, because I am not, um, I'm personally just like, we're all going to suffer financially. Um, so some more, a lot more than others. And so I am just not using the coronavirus in any way as a company or as a business personally, because I believe we're all going to be okay. I really, truly believe that. I'm just going to be honest. Like that is just who I am and what I think, and um, I'm going to choose my time at home to power up myself and my planning, and yesterday, I looked at my planner, and I was like, whoa, every, I was, today, I was supposed to be at Good Morning America in New York City, you guys, um, I was going to be on the Stills and Deals segment with Michael Strahan, um, Sarah and Kiki, that was going to be happening right now, and I was in New York. I was going to be staying at the Marriott Marquis. I was like, all my plans, poof. But guess what? Your plans too. Like, this has affected everyone. And my time and my space in this universe is no more important than anyone else. And so today, I am in the comforts of my beautiful home that gives me um, a safe haven from the world as hopefully your home feels that same way for you. So I hope it's okay. I just felt really strongly um, that I wanted to share some things that I am personally doing to keep my my mind positive, my life positive. First of all, I've had so many people, I watched Good Morning America, they didn't do your segment. Yes, I try to let everybody know that. Number two, I'm okay with it, you guys. I canceled going before they even told me they were canceling the show because guess what? Like I saw, whoa, as soon as things started happening really fast, I could, I honestly just wanted to be home. I had went to San Francisco. And so as a safety precaution for me and for others, I am choosing for the next 10 days, probably more of literally not leaving my home. Um, am I all the way prepared? No. Do I have any milk at my house? Absolutely not. But that's okay. I don't, I'm not a big milk drinker. And that's okay. So can I talk to you guys? I'm going to talk very honestly on how um, I'm going to still continue to plan my life because I feel like when our control and our power is taken from us, a lot of people don't like that. And I've heard people are like, I've heard some, and of course it's just, it's everywhere. They are not appreciating being told that they they should stay home. Good Morning America is on hold. It will be rescheduled. We are talking to Good Morning America right now. It's okay. Like, honest to goodness, like, I can be honest with you. Like, I'm not even disappointed because I'm thinking of the bigger picture here. I want our country, our world to be able to be okay. That's so much bigger than any kind of anything. Um, by the way, I'm wearing, if those of you who know, my daughter also has worked for me and she designed. Um, she designed shirts, Gentry, my daughter, that's going to have babies, uh, babies, a baby next week. And so you guys, one thing I've learned that I think we all have to remember is change is inevitable and we have to sometimes just go, okay, this is obviously nothing any of us wanted. 
But you know what? I'm going to look. Okay. I have some closets that I need to attend to. I have things around my house that I am going to be mindful and plan and purposeful and say, you know what? I really need to get these things done because if I sat and watched or, or just absorbed all the things that are going on, I want to be aware. I believe we need to be aware of the situation, but I also believe that we can still be productive within our home. And that is what I'm choosing to do. And so for me, I am, you know, I did all my laundry last night. Didn't want to, I'll be honest. I did not want to do the laundry. In fact, I was telling Brian, like, I don't want to do laundry right now. And then I was like, I was just, cause I was worried about my kids. And then I had to let that go. I had to go and say, you know what? Like, we can only control ourselves right now as much as we are worried about our parents and our children, our everybody, you know, our coworkers and, and our neighbors and just the world in general. Um, that's an awful lot to put on our shoulders. So I was doing that yesterday and um, especially last night. And then I had to really go and think about it. And I said, hey, wait a minute, Teresa, the only person that we each can control is ourselves. I can control me, you can control you. And um, I can control my attitude right now because the thought of staying inside, I don't know about you guys, for so long, I'm not one to just stay at home. I'm not, I am like, I'm a go, I love to go, I love to connect with people. So social um, isolation is real. And um, my planner is going to be completely blank. What am I going to put? I stayed in bed. I worked, you know, this. I, and a lot of you may feel very unproductive right now, or you may feel, um, I believe we're feeling a lot of things. I did, I, I started talking, I did a little squirrel action um, that I had FaceTimed my, my, my daughters this morning. And one particularly, my daughter Taylor was trying to explain to her four year old why they are not leaving the house. And so Beckett and Capri are twins. And she said, mom, I tried to explain that it was, and she showed them the coronavirus, the little things that it's a little bug that could maybe, you know, it can make you very, very sick. And he goes, you mean dead. And Beckett was very smart. You guys, our kids are smart. Beckett, our kids, they are going to watch us and they are listening. If we think our kids our grandkids, the people around us are not listening to what we're saying. They are. So um, we there, there, there's a lot of fear. So um, that is one of the things. So I thought, gosh, as busy as I always am, this is a time to really go, you know what? I could clean that closet. I could go and say, it's time to purge and let things go. But don't take it any place. Just put it in your bags. Put it in your garage. You know, and I think we're going to think differently. Um, and there are people that have to work. Thank goodness we have medical. Um, we have responders because life is still going on. We still have people that are facing other things other than the virus. Cancer, I thought about just very personally, I thought, what had, if this had happened when Tyler was fighting cancer? Um, and I know what it's like to, for months, not be able to let anyone in your house. I've never had a situation where we didn't go out of the house. And so, um, we're all learning as far as planning. Like, I think for me, um, cause I thought about it cause I always plan every day. I'm like, what am I going to do now? Like, how is this, you know? And I thought I'm going to keep planning on things and really get deep with the things that I want to continue to have happen in my life and um and just thinking positive and not using this time to um allow the weight of this situation because it's very 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 serious the one thing i want to say to you is i think that we can control is ourselves and so that i made a choice like i said you are staying home um i um, came back from San Francisco. I feel great, you guys. My voice is a little off just because I talk a lot and my, I lose my voice, but I honestly feel great. One of the things that I'm sure wouldn't help me probably, but for the first time ever, I had the flu virus because in January, my doctor 
um, had said, hey, you travel a lot. Well, let's make sure. And he knew that I had a lot of international trips coming. And so I had, um, on Thursday, I chose to cancel everything in my plan. Everything, you guys, up until June 1st. And um, yeah, there was some amazing things. And also a lot of things that were very financially beneficial to my company. So I want you to know, yes, I admit it. And I will financially take a massive loss during this time because I won't be going to go on TV and sell my products for two days. I won't be going on Good Morning America. And I had, I had um, done a lot of um, inventory for those shows. It, is it a setback? Absolutely. Is it the end of the world for me? No, because the way I look at it is your life is more valuable than any kind of monetary gain. Your life, my life, I am a firm believer and that um, that your life and um, I, I've never been a company just to make money. Obviously, you have to make money. In a situation like this, it really brings it back to your why. And so for me, I really do believe in um, everything that I do on a personal level. I was sharing at the very last event that I went to for a long time, I shared that one of the things that when I design my products, I think the reason why I design everything myself, like I don't have someone just saying, oh, do this, do this. I'm like, I do it all, is I'm influenced and inspired by the pieces of me that, that were beautiful, but also broken. Like that song, oh my gosh, if you do not know the Ke Kelly Clarkson song, Beautiful and Broken, like I completely am broken, but I'm also beautiful. And so are you. And so I've taken those pieces and that is my why as a company. And so um, for me, I, I go, you know, we are going to go through hard things. And my, my thoughts and my biggest fear, like you, is losing the people that we love. That's, that's more important to me than anything. Um, I happened to run across some things on my account. A lot of people didn't know. And they were um, making money directly with the coronavirus and, and the fear of that. And I was like, that is never going to be me. Um, I, if anything, I would say, please just, just the, this is your time to go inward and self-reflect. And yes, stay home. Um, I'm telling you, I am missing my grandkids so bad. I was crying a lot yesterday not like, oh, I'm so sorry, but just going, I miss them, but also I love them. And we are going to do, um, the, the, thank goodness, like I'm looking for the good and the bad. Technology, technology, technology. We can still stay connected. I can talk to you right now. You can watch me. And that's really what it's about. And saying, you know what, like, that's the one thing I know is like, we can't control everything, nor that, that's not how life is meant to be. We can only control how we choose to react. And I hope in some small way that my still continuing to be looking for the good and the bad and sharing what I'm personally doing. I am in bed, you guys. I am in bed. And um, I, you know, <laughs> and I probably ate way too much yesterday. I'm just going to be honest. That is has always been my trigger when I feel out of, things are out of control. I kept snacking yesterday. And so this morning I woke up and I, I woke up and I was very mindful of that. I'm like, okay, Teresa, you hold it back. You know, like you, you need to like kind of just realize that even though you're going to be home a lot, you, you've got to like figure this out. And I'm going to do jumping jacks just to get my, my, my heart beating a little bit. I'm going to do things from home. And the things I can control are me and my actions and my mindset. And um, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, want you all to be safe. And I want you also to be mentally okay. And so I, I really, truly hope that you are taking the time to build yourself and not allow, obviously, you're going to be hearing things. We're, we're all like, what's now? What's going on? That is part of this. But I want you to know that like, yes, um, do everything possible. Stay home if you can. If you can, like me, stay home. I think they originally said, what, 14, 15 days so that we can starve 
the virus and that we are not because you may be fine you guys or somebody else may be fine but we give it to someone else we have to think of our community I'm going to continue to look for the good I am going to um, hopefully like that song it's called the piano guys it's gonna be okay I've listened to that several times I would love that song forever but it's like it's just like you know it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be okay um, and we, we can do this okay I love you guys so much um, I'm still going to continue to plan. I'm going to keep writing in my planner. I'm going to talk about um, what my thoughts are right now. I'm going to talk, talk about the things that I've been doing around the home um, that I've been putting off, like my closets. Okay, you guys. Love you. Bye.